Hello, my name is Brian Ayuban, teacher by profession, and welcome to our learning session. Today, we're gonna learn about two types of renewable energy resources, namely hydropower and geothermal power. Our objective this learning session is to explain how heat from inside the earth and flowing water is stopped as a source of energy for human use. But before we are going to jump to our lesson proper, let's have a short video regarding on what is renewable energy resources all about. Around the world, renewable energy use is on the rise. And these alternative energy sources could hold the key to combating climate change. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy is generated from sources that naturally replenish themselves and never run out. The most common sources are solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and biomass. Over 80% of the total energy consumed by humans is derived from fossil fuels. However, renewables are the fastest growing source of energy in the world. Renewable energy has many benefits. First, it can combat climate change because it creates no direct greenhouse gas emissions. The only emissions that they produce are indirect, meaning those that result from manufacturing parts, installation, operation, and maintenance. But even those are minimal. Second, renewable energy can decrease pollution and therefore reduce threats to our health. Wind, solar, and hydroelectric systems create no air pollution emissions, and geothermal and biomass energy systems emissions are much lower than non-renewable energy sources. Third, renewable energy is a reliable source of power. Because renewable energy sources are, well, renewable, they will never run out. Once built, renewable facilities cost very little to operate and the fuel is often free. As a result, renewable energy prices tend to be stable over time. While renewable energy has many advantages, it is not without downsides. It is difficult for renewable energy sources to generate power on the same large scale as fossil fuels. Building wind farms and dams can disrupt wildlife and migration patterns and lead to ecological destruction. Both solar and wind energy are intermittent. They only generate power while the sun is shining or while the wind is blowing. Batteries can store excess energy for later use. However, they are often costly. While renewable energy presents some challenges, it also offers an environmentally friendly alternative to the greenhouse gas emissions and pollution of fossil fuels. And as advances in technology make renewable energy more accessible, affordable, and efficient, an end to climate change could be within our reach. Geothermal energy refers to utilizing the energy from the internal heat from the earth. The internal heat from the earth is generated from radioactive decays of minerals and continual loss of heat from the original formation of the earth. Geothermal wells are drilled into the earth crust at approximately 3 to 10 kilometers below. The heat is extracted with var various methods, but in most cases, is drawn from the earth using water and steam. Hot water from the earth may be directly extracted to heat homes and buildings. This is done by either directly circulated the hot water by or through building or by pumping through heat exchanger that transfers heat to the buildings. Geothermal heat can also be used to produce electricity in geothermal power plant. Electricity is generated when geothermal heat produces steam 
that turns the turbines on a generator. The major regions geothermal development are most volcanically and tectonically active regions of the world. So, geothermal energy is current small player in the world's energy mix. One of the key advantage is its reliable and consistent power generation which, which means it can provide base load, load electricity. Concern of geothermal include accidental release of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide emission stored in the earth groundwater that is often used to carry geothermal heat to earth's surface. Additionally, drawing heat from the earth crust can, if done irresponsibly, lower the ground temperature below the surface. The upland cost of geothermal energy production are relatively high. It is expensive to carry out seismic sensing, test well drilling, confirmation testing, and other necessary preliminary investigation to ensure that the new geothermal power plant capable of meeting desired production. That's Hydropower or hydroelectricity refers to conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constant, constantly renewed by the sun. One of the first uses of hydropower was from mechanical milling, grinding grains, but today, Modern hydro plants produce electricity using turbines and generators. The mechanical energy created by moving water spins rotors on a turbine. This turbine is connected to electromagnetic generator which produces electricity when the turbine spins. There are two main types of hydroelectricity production. Number one is dam. Number two is runoff river. Hydro dam utilizes the potential energy from dam water to produce electricity. A dam is a large barrier constructed to raise the level of water and control its flow. The elevation created by the dam creates gravitational force turning the turbine when water is released. Some dams are also contain additional reservoir at their base where water is stored to pump to the higher reservoir for release when electricity is in demand. This is referred to as pump storage hydro. The second form of hydropower production is runoff river hydro. Runoff river still uses turbines and generators but relies on the natural water flow rates of rivers diverting just a portion of the water through turbines because runoff river hydro is subject for natural water variability. It is, it is more intermittent than dam hydro. There are various sizes hydro plants that produces electricity. Large hydro can produce electricity greater than 30 megawatts. Small hydro, 100 kilowatts to 30 megawatts. And micro hydro, less than 100 kilowatts. Of all renewable energy resources, hydropower holds the largest share of worldwide electricity production. Hydropower has several benefits. Number one, it is cost competitive form of energy even though initial building costs high. It's quite reliable compared to other renewable options and pairs well other sources as it can be used as base load power. In some cases, dump reservoir can also help flood control and be reliable water supply for communities. There are also some concerns, specifically when it comes to large dams. Damming river 
has major impact in the local in environment, changing wildlife habitats, blocking fish passage, and often force, forcing people in the riverside communities to move out from their homes. In addition, dam failures can be catastrophic claiming lives of those living downstream. Hydro plants are also not completely free of greenhouse gases emission, as with most forms of energy. Carbon dioxide emission happens during construction, particularly due to the large quantities of cement use and plant matter in flooded areas makes methane, another greenhouse gas as decays underwater. That's hydropower.